I hope you're ready because in this video I'm going to pepper you with tip after tip after tip. If you want a backyard that is absolutely unbelievable, I got you covered. Let's go. What's up, I'm Bobby Kay, I'm a professional landscape designer and general contractor, and this is one of the favorite installs that I have ever done in 15 years, and I will tell you why. It has got every single element, every single kind of material and zone, and it is purposefully put together. You start with the design, and it becomes this. Always, always start with the design. I cannot stress that more. Now, let's start talking about it. First thing I wanna talk about are transitions. This backyard was just grass. They had these three green giants right there and then just grass and an old concrete pad. That's typically what comes with the new build. So we wanted to transform this. A couple of the items that were on the checklist of this fellow YouTube subscriber, by the way, who hired us to come out here. It's only 40 minutes from St. Louis, worked out perfectly. It was an outdoor kitchen, a fire pit area, we threw the water feature in because fire and water go together so well. It's just something that happened. And then a nice lounge patio area. You got the string lights, you got all the nice softscaping. It checks off all the boxes. So let's talk about zone one. First thing is, we've got kind of this decomposed granite feel. This is Old Monroe. It is a multicolored decorative gravel that is pretty squishy so you can squish your chairs in and then of course you can just stage your fire pit this is solo stove this is their canyon model and what i love about this is it goes around it's a nice ring that goes around to protect and you can put a drink on here and all in for this whole unit there's actually a lot of deals out there around holidays so i'll put a link in there below where you can go check these out and see what kind of Solo still works for you. I love these, they're smokeless, doesn't get all over you, it's beautiful, done. Now, with the seating wall, one of the biggest keys I like to do is give at least three to four feet of spacing because if you wanna put more anirandac chairs, you can stage it around here or you can sit on the wall. This is out of Versalock and of course we put under cap lights under here so that it illuminates. So at nighttime, this thing really lights up. It's unbelievable. Got the columns. And then let's go. Now, as far as the transitions, I had these custom made. They add a little design element and they're easy to walk on. They're just in basically a concrete little circle. You could go squares, you could go whatever you want, but it's how you transition over to the patio. This is a beautiful patio. These pavers are from County. And what I love is we are going off of an earth tone scale. This is, uh, I believe, timeless. So it's got the grays, the earth tone, whatever. Here's your tip. When you are deciding on all these different materials, because you see we got gravel, we got pavers, we got modular block, we got block for the kitchen, we got granite countertops. It is all playing off of the color palette. You got your charcoals, you got your earth tones, and you got basically staying away from gray. It's either gray or earth tones in my opinion. Gray, whites, blacks, it's gonna go a little more modern. This is a little bit more on that transitional, traditional, softer. It goes with most houses. So I would say earth tone is a safe play if you're going to resell, sell the house, go there, right? Okay, here's the water feature. What I love about this is when you wanna incorporate a water feature, you wanna make sure not a lot of bugs are gonna be there, not a lot of maintenance. And what I love about this is there's a big basin under this that's about this deep, and you move some of the rocks over a specific spot, the motor is there. All you need is electric, which we have hooked up here. We prepped everything, we put our conduit in, we had everything staged in the design before we started, so we knew where all the plumbing and everything went, the electric went. All this does is it recycles down and it keeps going. If it starts to stink, if it gets really hot, which is like maybe once in a blue moon, you take a cap of bleach, you put it in there and you're done. That's a maintenance tip for you. So I love pondless water features as an element. So you got fire, you got water, you got seating, you got your transitions. Let's go over to the kitchen. This is by Somerset. 
This is a propane. Basically, you got your propane underneath there. You hook it up, boom, it goes. Side burner, keeping things warm, and then extra storage. This is just a linear block by county that goes off that earth tone scale. And then we, of course, had granite picked out by the client that they liked that also goes with everything. So everything is purposeful, everything is designed, everything is coordinated. Got your lounge area, your barbecue area, you take the plate of chicken, barbecue, you know, burgers, right out here, you're not walking 75 feet. You wanna have the kitchen in close proximity to the house, that makes a lot of sense. And then we got a little ambiance with these string lights. You can get these things off of Amazon, $50 roll for like 25 bucks, easy. Sink a post, bring it over to the house, and now all of a sudden you got this beautiful outdoor area. Sit here, enjoy the water, enjoy the fire. You got all the soft scaping. As far as the landscaping, went with grasses, limelight hydrangeas. We got some perennials, some cone flowers. And then of course we've got our junipers as our backdrop. All in on this bad boy, cause you know I like to tell the price. You are under, and I'm just gonna do a range out of respect for our client, but you are under 40,000 for all of this. Now I understand, you're like 40,000. There's a lot of stuff that goes in here. A lot of material, a lot of nice materials, a lot of labor, a lot of coordinating. You got the electric, you got just the grill alone, right? So you gotta think about all these things. This is an investment. But you go from grass to this, oh my gosh, unbelievable. Now, let's hear a little bit from the client. We'll talk to them for a couple minutes. All right, and before I go and get Jeff, I just want to say I am so grateful to all of you guys. Like seriously, we're approaching 60,000 subscribers. That's like such a big deal. I've been working on this six years and my God, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, like that is like, I can't believe this happened, honestly. And I just want you to meet somebody who went down the same path as you're on right now. This is Jeff. So let's go say hi. Let's see, hope he doesn't trash me on camera. Hey, hey Bobby. What's up? Good, how are you? <laughs> so. I was just telling everybody how, you know, you found me on YouTube and uh, first of all, why did you go to YouTube and how did all this happen for you basically? So I use YouTube a lot for other things um, and when I was realizing I wanted to do something with my yard, it was the first place I went to to start looking for ideas and get inspiration and that's how I found you. Um, your videos were authentic, um, I loved how you incorporated your family, um, you seemed real and trustworthy. And that's what drove me to your ideas and then ultimately, ultimately to your design. Well, so I, man. So I can see your work. So I need to put the kids in more videos. Let me know, smash the like button if you think that needs to be, and throw a comment down there. You wanna see Bobby or Veda? I'm bringing them in. I love those little kids. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, yeah. seriously. This started with the design and now you got your space and I'm truly happy for you, man. Jeff, thank you so much for that. And hey, if you like these kind of videos and you wanna go see some more projects, go check out this video right here. We're talking about a small space that got completely transformed. It might be the perfect template for you. This is Bobby Kay saying creation is everything, so go out and create. I'll see you in the next video.